Welcome back, everyone, to another Slab Stocks Breaks Day. My name is Aaron, your co-host, because today we got Nate here, who's going to be doing the ripping. I'm just going to be doing the randomization here to begin. Then I'll be on the side, sleeving up the cards and top loading them as we go. But today, we got some super fun breaks in-house. We'll check them out. First up, we'll be doing the baseball break. Nate will be opening 2020 Bowman Jumbo Baseball. Three autographs per box. We're looking for Jason Dominguez, Bobby Wood Jr., What's that guy's name? Robert Pawson? Yep. Something like that. And then we also have Bowman Draft Sapphire here, the, the new Sapphire set for Bowman Draft. Spencer Tor- Spencer Torkelson's the number one pick out of that. And then we got Contenders. First off the line, our first look at Contenders football this year. On-card autograph per box, including a red zone autograph. We'll see what we can get out of there. We got two of those. And then we've got Mosaic Mega Box. And then 12 Mosaic Cello Pack. So that will be exciting. But first off, I'm going to randomize the teams. And thank you, everyone, for joining today. I'm very excited for today. Always when Nate comes, it's a fun day. Uh, Get some uh, good cards out here, I hope. But let's check out the team names to start here. So I'm going to pull the baseball up front and then the football. And let's get randomizing. So here we go. Here's the baseball. All the order numbers lined up in numerical order. We got 30 teams. And actually, we're going to randomize the football first because I have it in here already. So we're going to randomize the football first. We're going to go three times on the football for the football break. That's going to happen second. Uh, You guys see the Las Vegas Raiders there. I switched the name and put it in the correct spot. 32 teams on this one. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Good luck. Three times. One. Two. And a third. Can we hit some big QBs out of this break? Let's see. 32 teams. Go over to the spreadsheet. Click on the football. 32. Los Angeles Chargers goes to Keith R. Congrats, Keith. And the Dolphins. Keith R. with the Dolphins and the Chargers. Woo. That is big time. Bengals going to KK. K. Keller, thank you for joining. And then we have Hunter O. with the Eagles. All right. Now let's do the baseball. Who has the Packers and Jordan Hunt? Packers goes to KK as well. K. Keller's got the Bengals and the Packers. Dang. Congrats on that. All right, here's all the baseball teams. Let's copy them all down here. Paste them in. 30 teams. Three times on the random. Good luck. One, two, and three. Go into the description of this video and click on the Google Drive link that will send you to this spreadsheet that hosts all the teams. Yankees goes to, well, more importantly, the Brewers goes to round B. (laughs) Yankees goes to Chad R, and then we got the Detroit Tigers with Spencer Torkelson and the Draft Sapphire possibly going to Kevin L. So thank you, everyone, for joining. I'm going to pass the reins off here to Nate. I'll be on the side, sleeving up, doing everything with that, and I'll be making custom announcements throughout it uh, as I haven't trained Nate how to adjust the type yet, and I just wanted to focus on ripping for today. So, Nate, come on in. I'll grab some waters for us, and uh, you can get started. Oh, you got one? Oh, yeah. I got to grab one. Oh, that's mine, I guess. off to the side there we go uh, oh hit the light hey guys happy to be here do we have the uh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there we go oh, all right happy to be here on a thursday like every thursday very excited to rip baseball we are going to start today with the two boxes of bowman draft sapphire though and leave hopefully a i don't know red jason dominguez in that box until a little bit later um the baseball draft will not be a very long one today uh there's not too many cards in these bowman draft sapphires uh talking 32 um are there autos in here there's not autos no autos so they followed the they followed the soccer sapphire but not Topps Chrome Sapphire, huh? One pack is crazy. <laughs> that is that is a very thick boy. So there should be two parallels in here located in the middle. We will look through all the cards, though, because obviously there are going to be some good cards. So we have an orange and a yellow. And right off the bat, a Robert Pawson uh, Topps Chrome Sapphire. So that's nice. Uh, Freddie Zamora. Freddie Zamora is a guy that was injured a lot last year. But uh, uh, knee injury, I believe. What's up, Henry Ho? 
And uh, he's kind of one of those guys that has big upside from being a second-round pick. Shane Drohan. And again, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names. So forgive me uh, in advance for the way I say some of these names. Owen Casey. Jack Blomgren. Evan Carter. Drop that down a little bit. Zach Britton. Not Zach Britton, the pitcher, but Zach Britton, the Blue Jays prospect. CJ Van Eck. Keone Cavaco, who is a Twins shortstop prospect from last year. Michael Bush, one of the Dodgers' top prospects. Tyler Soderstrom. Case Williams. Reed Detmers. D.L. Hall. I love D.L. Hall. Hey, look at that. A Heston Kierstad first Bowman. And I'm going to hide these a little bit. That's a nice one. Daniel Lynch right there, but we will get to that in a little bit. Leave the color for last. Tink Hentz. Michael Togolia. Trent Palmer. Julio Rodriguez. So a couple a couple nice names from the uh uh, previous years in Julio Rodriguez and Robert Paulson. Sam Weatherly. Christian Robinson. I was just listening to a podcast on uh, Christian Robinson and the analytical uh, the analytical side of baseball really loves Christian Robinson. The scouting side, not so much. So it'll be interesting to see uh, where this where he falls in the whole world of, you know, investment-wise. Tyler Freeman, Dylan Dingler, grade A name right there. Luke Little, we're really getting into the alliterations here. Dylan Dingler and Luke, uh, oh, there we go. Spencer nice. Torkelson, Bowman Draft Sapphire. So that's Jeez. a beautiful card. So we got the first two picks, Spencer and Heston. Jeter Downs, ah, Cade Cavalli, that's also a nice pick. Miguel Amaya, Chris McMahone, and then for the yellow, we've got Andrew Vaughn, number 99. And Jordan Bel Belizovich, number 25. So not the, uh, not the first Bowmans we're hoping for, but we still got uh, a big Spencer Torkelson. That was like $150, $175 or something. And a big Heston Kierstad right there. So uh, anytime you can get the first two picks, you take it. You do it. You do it. Uh, so huge start. Huge start to the day. And, you know, we got a couple of, we got a couple of nice, well, I don't know where they're at now. In, yeah, the, under there. in the pile somewhere. You know, got a couple of nice uh, second Chrome cards here in Paulson and Julio Rodriguez. So, not too bad of a box, even if the color, the parallels were not exactly what one would hope. But, uh, big, big, big start. We'll set those back there. Everyone can admire them for a little bit. Uh, what's up, Technical Rogue? Uh, we are having a great day. Uh, you got to watch Cade Cavalli pitch locally. That's pretty sweet. Uh, up here in Wisconsin, we do not get to see too many, uh, too many local, uh, studs. We've had Kellenick and, uh, Tristan Lutz. Or not Tristan, Tristan Lutz. I was thinking about Tristan Lutz earlier. Uh, Gavin Lux. Uh, in the past, but uh, not too many big name high schoolers coming out of Wisconsin or college players outside of like Dart Dalton Varsho. So on to pack number two. We will set the parallels in the back right away. And we got Marco Luciano. I love Marco Luciano. If you follow along with Slab Socks, you guys all know that. Tekoa Roby. Matthew Liebertor. Liked him a lot more when he was a Ray and not a Cardinal because, you know, Cardinals. Quinn Cotton, Jordan Adams, love Jordan Adams, Zach Deloche, Adam Seminaris, 
Josh Jung, eighth overall pick from last year, not the year this year, but last year. Sammy Ifanti, Kyle Isabel, Connor Phillips. Uh, Mariners system right now is just loaded with young, intriguing arms. Mitchell Parker, Hudson Haskin, another alliteration. Ryan Murphy, that is an alliteration, right? Yes. The uh, multiple uh, Luke letters. Little, you know that type yeah. of stuff. Both words start with the same letter. Burl Callaway, Logan Hoffman. I wonder if it's uh, uh, what was the Hoffman from? Uh, somebody tell me quick who the Hoffman was from East Carolina that went and got drafted by Blue Jays and then got traded to the Rockies. I can't remember his first name. Sam Slade Sicconi. Jaron Duran. Oh, Garrett Mitchell. That's very nice. nice. Garrett Mitchell, Bowman Draft Sapphire. Nice uh, Henry Ho. Uh, why don't they have autos in this product? Be cool. I don't know why they don't have autos. Corbin Carroll. I don't think love for sports cards that. Uh, yeah, Jeff Hoffman. Thank you. Uh, I don't think they're too exp- uh, too concerned about how expensive the uh, product would be. Daxton Fulton, Cole Teeth, ah Xavier Warren. I think he's transferring over to catcher for the Brewers, so that should be an interesting. Uh, yeah, it was Jeff Hoffman, guys. It was Jeff Hoffman. Uh, Xavier Warren should be an interesting conversion there. Bobby Witt Jr. Second year. Trevor Hauver. Technically a first year, but a draft first year. Oh, yeah, true. Ethan Hankins. Reese Hines. Logan Gilbert. Yet another one of those Seattle Mariners stud pitchers. Isaiah Green. Um, didn't Isaiah Green just get traded uh, in that uh, deal for Francisco Lindor? Pretty sure I, it was Isaiah Green that got traded in that deal. Riley Green, odd, Isaiah and Riley. And for the yellow, we've got Tanner Burns out of 99 and Green of Jaron Duran out of 50. So at least we got a 101. And if you're going to bet, I'm not a 101, uh, 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 Bowman first, sorry. And if you're going to bet on a pitcher, Bet on the Cleveland Indians to be able to maximize him as best as possible. So, yeah. There we go. All right. So, the nicest card out of that box by far, Garrett Mitchell. Nate's going to steal that, I think. (laughs) Oh, we'll be okay. (laughs) All in all, not too bad of a two-box break right there. A um, couple nice other firsts. Brewers did pretty well with Freddie Zamora and Xavier Warren and Garrett Mitchell, as I know the Brewers the best out of everyone. Um, uh, I will be buying some 2020 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. What do you think of the product? Uh, I have not looked at the checklist yet for Topps Chrome Update, but I imagine it's not going to be very good. So I would be very careful on how much you're spending, how much you're spending on this Topps Chrome Update this year. That's one hundred seventy-five dollars. The Spencer Torkelson. The Torkelson's one hundred seventy-five. Yeah. PSA ten. No, not graded. Oh wow. It just came out, so probably not any PSA tens out there yet. Yeah, that's true. Especially with how good PSA ten is lately at uh returns. All right, so we've got our twenty twenty Bowman. Question, do you guys think that they're watering down Sapphire by coming out with the Sapphire update series for the first time? That is a good question. And now there's two Bowman Sapphire sets as well. Although it makes sense. I mean, draft's a big set. Yep. I do think it's a little watered down. I think it was super special because it was just the Topps Chrome thing and it was looked awesome. And now if they're going to do it with everything, it's 
it doesn't make it special. It just makes it a variation on the regular cards. I wonder, I also think that that might boost, like, the biggest set, though. Like, you're, you know, the Topps Chrome Sapphire set's always still going to be big and might get boosted from there's more than it. Now it's, like, by far the best Topps Chrome Sapphire set. Yeah. Especially the past years. All right, on to 2020 Bowman. Let's not hit the auto right away. That'd be unfortunate. There's gonna be there's gonna be a lot of paper in here, so we're just gonna swipe past it. Christian Yelich, Ramon Laureano, Mike Yastrzemski, William Adamas, uh, Zach Collins, rookie, uh, Sky Blue, number to four ninety nine, Jordan Alvarez, the rookie favorites rookie, Andrew Vaughn, Bowman insert silver, and a C.J. Abrams, uh, top hundred insert. C.J. Abrams, absolute stud. If you can get your hands on some C.J. Abrams cards. Do it. Sheridan Apostle, Everson Pieria, Shea Langlers, Will Wilson, Jacob Amaya, Sam Huff, Adley Rushman Paper, Jordan Groshans, Luis Garcia, Elhiris Montero, Luis Robert Bowman Chrome, Shea Langlers, Jazz Chisholm, Nick Lodolo, Freudos Nova. So the Chrome in that set, not very good. Gleyber Torres, Buster Posey, Nomar Mazzara, Xander Bogarts, Ronald Acuna Jr., Aristides Aquino rookie, and Randy Rosarino rookie. Which, Randy Rosarino, a couple months ago, that would have meant nothing. But, uh, or when this product came out, that would have meant nothing. Um, everyone out there, how are we feeling about the uh, recent moves that have been going on in the baseball world? Uh, you have Andrelton Simmons signing with the Twins for a one-year deal. You have, uh, Marcus Simeon signing with the Blue Jays for a one-year deal. Some big moves there. Cattell Marte, Sean Murphy, Bruce Star Gratterall, Zach Collins, Adrian Marhon, Seth Brown, Shane Bieber, a talent pipeline insert, Sam Huff, Andy Abanez, Leota Tavares, a Heliot Ramos, uh, spanning the globe. That's what it says. Spanning the globe insert. <laughs> Finally figured it out. And a Taylor Trammell top 100 insert. Taylor Trammell is one of those guys that has not exactly gone the way I'm expecting, but I will die upon the Taylor Trammell hill if need be because I am a big believer in him still. I just feel like he has to get a healthy year and put it all together, and he'll be a stud. Tanner Hoke, Antonio Cabello, Zach Brown, Daz Cameron, Ethan Hankins, Nick Madrigal, Alex Kirilov, Cal Mitchell, Luis Garcia, Jorge Mato, Cal Mitchell, Bowman Chrome, Tim Kate, Dylan Carlson, Joe Ryan first. That's our first, first Chrome, I'm pretty sure. A Bryson Stott. Jordan Alvarez, lucky, rookie, Gavin Lux, rookie, Jordan Yamamoto, who was actually just designated for assignment today. Really? Yep. Shohei Otani, Lucas Giolito, Jose Urena, and Francisco Mejia. On to pack three. Marcus Simeon is a total stud and a great buy and a great addition to that already stacked infield. Yeah, uh, there's not really, you're probably not getting too much better of an infield than uh, presumably Bo Bichette at shortstop, Marcus Simeon at second, Kevin Bijou at third now, and um, uh, Vlad Guerrero moving back across the diamond again to first base. But we'll, we'll see what happens there. Jeff McNeil, Fernando Tatis Jr., Blake Snell, Max Scherzer, Jose Altuve, Luis Robert rookie, and an Austin Nola rookie. A Luis Robert spanning the globe refractor. A Luis Patino. Okay. Three packs, and we have hit three Padres. Taylor Trammell is no longer a Padres prospect, but in the in the card he was a Padres prospect. We've hit three straight Padres. Who's he with now? Taylor Trammell? Yeah. He got traded in the Austin Nola deal to the Mariners. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, Nate, 2019 Tops Chrome, Tatis, Hobby, and Jumble Box went up crazy high now. I think Soto and Akuna make 2019 Tops Chrome a lot better than, than 2018 and 2020 product. 2019 Tops Chrome, Tatis, Hobby, So you're talking, I think Soto and Akuna make 2018 Tops Chrome a lot better than the 2019 and 2020 product. Um, I would, ag I, I would agree. I love Tatis, but I'll take the two potential superstars for... You know, the one. Riley Green, Gerard Encarnacion, Robert Foss in paper. That's nice. Grayson Rodriguez, Reese Hins, Fredos Nova, Cole Wynn, Alex Manoa, Nolan Gorman. Alex Kirilov, Aaron Shortridge first. Ian Anderson, Nate Pearson, love him. Johan Diaz first. Vladimir Guerrero, Jack Flaherty, Alex Young rookie, Nexalak rookie, Mauricio Dubon rookie, Michael Baez rookie, and Travis Demary. I never know how to say this guy's last name. Somebody help me out because even when I look at it, I have a hard time. So somebody help me out there. Any good Mariners hit in here? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, but maybe. Maybe we'll hit one today. There's no Julio Rodriguez because that's in 2019. There's no, no Noel V. Marte because that is also in 2019 Bowman Chrome. Um, that was 2019 Bowman Chrome, right? Yeah. Logan Allen. Hey, look at that, Mariners. Justin Dunn, rookie. Dylan Cease. Nolan Arenado. Lorenzo Kane, Pete Alonzo, Paul DeYoung, oh, and a Gerard Encarnacion Auto, number to 499, Refractor. So get that to focus in a little bit. A little bit of a streak through that auto up there. We pulled his Mojo Auto, too, the last time. Yeah, I've seen a lot of Gerard. Demerit. Okay, Demerit. Um... I've seen a lot of uh, Encarnacion autos out of this product. I feel like there's more of him than anybody else. Um, Nate's thoughts on Ahmed Rosario. Bounce back candidate. Move to a new situation and maybe uh, figure something out. I don't really have too much hope for him, though. Jordan Alvarez, rookie insert. Uh, Nate Pearson, Bowman's top 100. Bryce Terang, who's added some, added some muscle, added some ability to drive the ball. Uh, has become a more interesting prospect than he, uh, uh, a much more interesting player than he was before. Isaac Paredes, Jonathan India, Miguel Amaya, Bobby Dalbach. Oh, I don't have to, I can swipe these papers. Seth Beer, Jaron Duran first, Jared Kellenick, he's from Wisconsin, Heliot Ramos, Logan Davidson, a uh, first of Gerard Encarnacion. Wander Franco, one of my favorite guys uh, on in the Brewers organization, Aaron Ashby, Kiebert Ruiz, and Miguel Amaya again. John Means, Dan Vogelbach, Bryce Harper, Hunter Dozier, Trevor Story, Javier Baez, and Brian Reynolds. Um, if Luffer's sports cards, if we're talking about Gerard uh, Encarnacion, I believe he's already like 23 and hasn't made out a high A. So I don't know if I'd say great prospect, but he's got some pop in that bat. So there is that. He's the type of guy, though, that if I got the card, I'd probably sell instantly instead of holding. Kevin Biggio. Sleep this bad boy up, yo. We're going to. Juan Soto. Edbert Elzale. Isan Diaz, AJ Puck, Bobby Bradley, Nico Horner, Jordan Yamamoto, again, designated for assignment, Jason Brown, Joe Adele, top 100 insert, Jory Cantillo, Jackson Rutledge, Ulrich Borjarski, Borjarski, Jeremy Pena, Christian Robinson, Gunnar Henderson, Nick Lodolo, Estevan Florial, Josh Jung, Evan White, Jared Kellenick, Brian Campusano, Brady Singer. Try to get that to focus in again. 
to take your hand away. I gotta fix the camera. Whatever. It's it's trying to auto oh there we go. Gus Varland first. Jaron Duran first. Jaron Duran was one of those guys that was a very hyped prospect and the hype has gone down a little bit. Willie Calhoun, Zach Gallen, Andres Munoz, Sheldon Noose, Mike Trout, Francisco Lindor, and Max Muncie. Demerit. Okay. Demerit. It. I think the extra T and the E throw me off a little bit, so... Miguel Cabrera, Eddie Rosario, Kevin Newman, Boba Shot rookie, Kyle Lewis rookie, Matthew Boyd, Jose Barrios. Talent Pipeline, Pirates, a Jeff McNeil, Hidden Finds. That's pretty sweet. I haven't seen a Hidden Finds yet. Jesus Sanchez, Top 100 insert. Christian Javier, Jazz Chisholm, Yohan Diaz, Oscar Gonzalez, Aramis Edman, Brian... Meta, Jordan Adams, Marco Luciano, Bryson Stott, Wilfred Astadio, Dane Dunning, Drew Waters, Spencer Howard, a first of Jaciel De La Cruz, Franklin Perez, Matt Chapman, Yusi Kikuchi, Luis Castillo, Hanser Alberto, Mike Soroka, a rookie of Robo Garcia and a rookie of Jesus Lizardo. Uh, well, Anthony Anthony Volpe Auto ain't bad. Um, he's a defensive first guy, but there's no saying that he won't uh, develop a little bit of the bat to go with that and be a solid prospect in uh, Yankees organization. Chris Bryant, Keto Marte. Sean Murphy, rookie. Bruce Stargard, rookie. Sean, Zach Collins, rookie. Adrian Marhone, rookie. Seth Brown, rookie. If I had a dollar for every Zach Collins we hit so far, I'd have like three bucks. Dylan Cease, rookie. Christian Yelich, that's a sweet, that's a sweet looking card. Love the look of that. Nolan Gorman, JJ Blade. Ah, there we go. Finally, a big first. I know it's a paper, but it's still for a big first of Bobby Witt Jr. Get those paper first graded, and you can get make some money. Wander Franco's like 50 bucks for a PSA 10. Uh, Cody Hose, Bayron Laura first, which is interesting because Bayron Laura autos are not in. So he's got first in Bowman, but his autos are in Bowman Chrome, huh? Alvaro Sias, Hans Kraus, Zach Thompson, Hunter Bishop, Luis Gill. Christian Javier, Jacob Amaya first, Austin Beck, Chrome, Evan White, a rookie Gavin Lux, rookie Jordan Yam Yamamoto, Shoyotani, Otani, Lucas Giolito, Jose Arena, Francisco Mejia, and Vlad Guerrero Jr. Oh, yeah, you know what? That makes sense. Yeah, follow the same pronunciation sound of Bichette, which makes sense now. I guess I never had a problem with Bichette, but Demerit, for some reason, throws me off every single time. On our fifth to last pack for the baseball break today, Shane Bieber, Cody Bellinger, Jeff McNeil, Fernando Tatis, Blake Snell, Max Scherzer, Jose Altuve, a Luis Robert rookie, and, ah, there we go, my boy. Aaron Ashby. Not huge money here, but uh, he might become a top 100 prospect this year. I wouldn't be shocked if he did. And then, uh, you know, that price goes up a little bit, so that's cool. I'm a big fan of Aaron Ashby anyways, even if maybe nobody else is. Adrian Morhone, top 100. Yet another Padre. Goodness gracious. Nick Bennett, Matt Manning, Drew Waters, Grant Little, Kanan Smith, Jaseel De La Cruz, Casey Mize, Tyler Freeman, Austin Beck, D.V. Garcia, Tim Kate, Nick Allen, 
Reese Hines, Zach Brown, Travis Swaggerty, Eric Pardino, Oscar Gonzalez first, Jack Flaherty, Alex Young, Nick Solak, Marcio Dubon, Michael Baez, Travis Demerit, got it that time, and John Means. He's got a nice looking autograph. He does. A very nice looking autograph. Obviously, people aren't aiming for pitchers when they're buying this stuff, but I'm excited about it. Anyways, I do really think Aaron Ashby uh, he takes a little step forward this year. He's going to be a top 100 prospect. Uh, Brewers have a couple pitchers in their system that could take that step forward. I, uh, I really like Aaron Ashby. Nate, what do you think of 1991 tops traded Ivan Rodriguez, Jeff Bagwell, and Jason Giambi rookie set? It's really cheap. Um, so tops traded ended up being coming tops update for those of you that didn't know. Uh, and it's one of those things that Ivan Rodriguez, obviously one of the best catchers all time, Jeff Bagwell, Hall of Famer, and Jason Giambi, a stud, steroids, but a stud. But that those aren't exactly names that I'm like, man, I need to get. I need to get a uh, Hall of Famer. I'm going to go after Pudge Rodriguez or Jeff Bagwell, right? Um, I just don't think there's going to be demand there ever uh, for that set to really take off just because while they're Hall of Famers, they're not like the cream of the crop, I guess I'd say. Austin Nola, Logan Allen, Justin Dunn, Dylan Cease, Nolan Arenado, Lorenzo Cain, Pete Alonzo, AJ Puck, rookie favorites, Wander Franco, spanning the globe, Brees Wilson, top 100. Brees Wilson was a guy I liked a long time ago. Brady McConnell, Sixto Sanchez, Joe Ryan, Adam Hall, Christian Pache. Ah, there we go. Finally. Nice. Finally. We hit a Jason Dominguez. Paper, I know. PSA 10, though. Of the top paper guys still fetches you a fifty dollar bill. Chris Valamont, Cabrian Hayes, Logan Gilbert, Leota Tavares, JJ Blade, Ethan Hankins, Jonathan India, Jesus Sanchez, and Brady McConnell. So not a not a single first Bowman Chrome in that pack. Dan Vogelbach, Bryce Harper, Hunter Dozier, Trevor Story, Javier Baez, Brian Reynolds, and Willie Calhoun. All right, so so far we've hit a Jarrar Encarnacion and Aaron Ashby autos. One was a refractor. I believe that should mean that we should still have more color in here. I hope. There hasn't even been any color refractors in general. Uh, it has been hard to hit color in this, I hear. So uh, at least that's what I was told when I went to Brewtown one time. Hard to hit color. Um, we hit the light blue, sky blue, uh, sky blue. Zach Collins. Zach Collins. That was the only color we've hit so far. Um, outside of the refractor, quote unquote, color. So let's hope for a, uh, a color auto here. Kevin Biggio, Juan Soto, Adbert Azale, Isan Diaz, AJ Puck, Bobby Bradley. Clean up a little bit. Talent pipeline of the Braves. Wander Franco, insert George Valera. Uh, I was really excited about George Valera for a long time and, uh, then COVID happened and stuff. I think he finally got a card. I can't remember correctly. Anthony Volpe, Alex Thomas, Colton Welker, Kiebert Ruiz, Keone Cavaco, Jordan Balzazovic. Is that blue? Yes, it is. Drew Mendoza, Eric Pardino, Shane, ba Shane Baz, who I love, and oh. Shane Baz out of 150. I still love Shane Baz. Royce Lewis, Alec Baum, Bayron Laura up first. That's nice. Nolan Jones, Jordan Adams, Zach Gallen, Andrews Munoz, Sheldon Noose, Mike Trout, Francisco Lindor, Max Muncy, and Matt Chapman. So, if you're going to get a guy, get a Bayron Laura first Bowman from this product. That's not bad. Two packs left. Can we get some color that's not a paper card? A little bit of color that, that from a Chrome card, please, and thank you. That's all I'm asking for. I don't even care who it is at this point. Nico Horner, Miguel Cabrera, Eddie Rosario, Kevin Newman, Bo Bichette rookie, 
Kyle Lewis, rookie, Matthew Boyd, Jose Barrios, Reese Hoskins, Eric Pardino, spanning the globe, Tony Gonsolin, top 100, Brennan Davis, Ryan Rollison, Josiah Gray, I love Josiah Gray, Royce Lewis, Jesus Sanchez, Brandon Marquez, Grant Levine, Joey Bart, Spencer Howard, Clark Schmidt, a first of Chris Valamont, Ryan Rollison, Jorge Mato, Ulrich Borjarski, and a Sam Huff first. UC Kikuchi, Luis Castillo, Hanser Roberto, Mike Soroka, Robo Garcia, Jesus Lazardo, and Anthony K. All right, so we are down to Yeah, well, that has to do. If Wander Franco was on the Yankees, uh, his auto prices would be absurd. It's more to do with the Yankees and, you know, Jason Dominguez being one of the most hyped international prospects of all time than anything else. All right, we are on to our last pack. We must have an insert auto here. Aaron Judge, Mookie Betts, George Springer, Junior Fernandez, Tony Gonsolin, Yu Chang, and... Oh, no, blue, 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 blue. Let's save that. Danny Jensen, Hans Kraus, Luis Robert, Nico Hulsizer, Hulsizer, Tarek Skubal, rookie, or first, Ryan Mountcastle, Dane Dunning, Brady Singer. We've got two blues in here. Ronnie Mauricio, Mackenzie Gore, C.J. Abrams, Matthew Liebertor, Nico Holzier. First, Esteban Floreal, Robert Pawson first. There we go. Tarek Skubal first, and a Jordan Balazovic first out of 150. So that's a nice pack. Finally had a nice pack for the last one. Aaron Saval, Dustin May rookie, Trent Grisham rookie, Eduardo Escobar, Joey Votto, and Starlin Castro. Uh, John, yes, we are ripping... A little baseball. We're almost done with baseball. We'll be moving on to football next, which we have uh, first off the line contenders. Get those red zone autos um, and uh, some other good product. And we've got the auto right here. Before we show that, though, uh, did you hear Bruce Stargrado got married yesterday? I did not. Congratulations to him. Um, you think Pache is a buy with him likely starting this season? I'm always I'm I am so torn on Pache. I was torn on I loved Cabrian Hayes for a while, and then he didn't really pan out in AAA. So all of a sudden, all these defensive first guys, I was really torn on. And uh, now Cabrian Hayes is amazing, so maybe I shouldn't be torn on Pache, but I'm still kind of torn what on him. What if you were holding on Dominguez on this entire time? Nope. Nope. <laughs> a blue Adam Hill. That's a good box for the Brewers. And the Mitchell and stuff, too. Not too good for everyone else, but a good box for the Brewers. Congratulations to the Brewers. I guess I'm not shocked, considering we're Brewers fans over here at Slab Stocks. I was really hoping for a uh, Jason Dominguez or a Robert Pawson or Bobby Witt Jr. blue on blue, but Adam Hill it is. At least we hit Colorado, though. Well, you usually do. In a jumbo box, you usually get a Colorado. You usually get one color and no way. I've two I've, base. No, in I my experience, so they, you can. I think there's a lot of times you can get refractor and then two base or stuff or three base, unless I'm just wrong now. I feel like I don't know. Oh, you want to do the? We'll recap a little bit for you before we start football. Um, you can do these first. Do these first. A little bit, not the world's greatest baseball break, but it's still fun. Robert Pawson paper, Bobby Wood Jr. paper, Luis Robert, the Jason Dominguez paper, so no chrome Jason Dominguez, but a Jason Dominguez paper, which is nice, PSA 10, uh, still a solid card. Bayron Laura, first, Bowman Chrome is a solid card. Bo Bichette, rookie, Kyle Lewis, rookie. A Robert Pawson, Bowman Chrome, which is nice. The Aaron Hill, blue, Jordan Balazovic, blue, Aaron Ashby, base auto, Gerard Encarnacion, refractor auto, and then on for the Sapphire, we got Andrew Vaughn, yellow, Jordan Balazovic, orange, Jaron Duran, green, Tanner Burns, yellow, and then the Garrett Mitchell, Spencer Torkelson, and Ke Heston Kierstad, Bowman Draft, Sapphires. Sapphire is actually decent. So, not... Not bad. 
the sapphire wasn't bad the first box of sapphire was definitely the best box we had with these two guys right here hey evan what's up how are you doing let's get these out of the way and we will move oh we'll show what we got ne is this next week both of these all right for next week i will hold them up up here i will go to the scene click on the scene yeah i will go to this so you can see it better and we've got for next week the mic's in my way <laughs> i'm gonna move the mic out of the way now no one can hear you <laughs> Bowman 2019 and 2016, 2016 Bowman Draft. So uh, this is next week, obviously, 2019 Wander Franco. And 2016 Bowman Draft is Bo Bichette. So some huge shortstop cards that come out of here. Very excited. Julio Rodriguez as well. J-Rod, Marco Luciano. Yeah, a ton of, ton of really good guys in 2019. But Wander Franco, obviously, cream of the crop. Yeah. Sledsocks.com slash shop. To get in for next week's baseball break with Nate. All right. So on to football for today. Evan, doing all right. My dad just pulled the card of a lifetime about a week ago. What did he get? Something huge, obviously. Uh, hello, new sub here. What are your thoughts on Aquino for the Reds? Um... Obviously, out of nowhere, prospect a couple years ago, had made some changes to his swing, uh, became an absolute stud, had an absolutely unbearable, you know, a pace that just could not be sustained when he was a really hot name and hit like 14 home runs through when he got called up to the end of the season. Um, the Reds really didn't play him too much last year, so I don't, I don't have too many thoughts on him. Maybe he can get hot again, but I just, I wouldn't. I wouldn't, I guess. Oh, I was going to tell you what we're opening. So for the football break, we are doing 12 packs, 12 cello packs of mosaic. One mega box, mega box of mosaic. <laughs> One what? <laughs> and then two contenders, first off the line football boxes. So here's both of them. This should be pretty cool. This should be pretty fun. Hoping, obviously, to get some huge, huge uh, rookies out of here. Is it weird they put the sticker on the top? Or rookie QBs out of here, obviously. We'll see what happens. It is weird. And if you want to see the first off-the-line sticker, there it is. There it is. So, a one, one out of two Justin Herbert Nike swoosh patch auto out of Panini Black. That's crazy. Wow. I can't. I cannot imagine. Yeah. I cannot imagine hitting something like that. No. That would be. I would. I would be screaming. <laughs> Top of my lungs. <laughs> All right, everyone. We're on. On to football. Let's. Uh, we've had some pretty good luck hitting mosaics, uh, Genesis. And we've had some pretty good luck hitting some quarterback, uh, silver mosaics, silvers, pinks. So uh, let's continue that, huh? Now, Aaron, what's the difference between the uh, Mega Box and these? Is there a different parallel I can expect? Yeah, so Mega Box has exclusive, is a blue reactive, and then the Cellos have the pinks, but they both come with Genesis. And I don't think that there's any like fluorescent. Maybe there's some fluores fluorescence that come out of the Mega Box, too. All right, KK, you have a ton of good teams in this right yeah. you have the the packers and the uh bangles yeah cam jordan the light bounces so hard yeah i tilted this way marcus mariota he'll grab it as you just go deandre hopkins a green pro ball deshaun watson he just requested a trade today Got game, Julian Edelman, and an NFL debut, Justin Jefferson. So that's a nice start, a little JJ there. Um, though I did see Justin Jefferson and DK Metcalf did their top five wide receivers right now, and they both put Julio Jones number one, which what? is which is fair because Julio Jones is a stud. From tw from 2015 through 2019, just not this last season, Julio Jones averaged 1,565 yards a game. And two touchdowns. I mean, I, I mean a, year, a, a year. Two touchdowns a year, too. <laughs> well, yeah, but that that's probably more Matt Ryan than anything. 
if Aaron Rodgers had Julio Jones, he'd get a lot of touchdowns. Zach Ertz, Marshall Falk, Terrell Davis, Josh Allen, Jalen Rager, Silver. Tough hit. And a Jerry Judy rookie. Um, but the ridiculous thing was DK Metcalf put himself ahead of Devontae Adams. Oh. Which is the most absurd thing I've ever heard. Oh, Gross. Tyree Kilpink, DK Metcalf, Speak of the Devil, and Keyshawn Vaughn, Rookie Pink. Uh, John, I agree. Pull a Herbert. That is the goal. Every time we do these, pull some Herberts, pull some Burrows, pull some Loves, pull some Hurts, pull some Tega Violas. <laughs> he went for it. Did I get it right? That's the question. I think so. And if not that, pull some Clyde Edwards Hilaire's, some Zach Mosses. And if not that, pull some Jerry Judy's and CeeDee Lambs. Saquon Barkley, Max Crosby, AJ Green, Chris Jones, Flea Flicker, Minnesota Vikings, and a Jim Kelly Hall of Fame. Is there no rookies in that? Matt Hoffman or Jeff Hoffman? Jeff Hoffman was the guy I was trying to come up with earlier, if you're asking the question now, if you just watched back. No rookies. Deshaun Jackson, Mr. Card, Ricky Williams, Roger Staubach, Odell Beckham Jr. Green, Howie Long Old School, and a Chase Young rookie. We hit a lot of Chase Young here. Slab stocks breaks. Um, so what is everybody thinking for uh, a trade for Deshaun Watson? Give me your best give me your best ideas. Who's he going to? Bears? Boo. Dolphins? Yeah. Jets? Boo. 49ers, Tyler Boyd, Steve Young, and James Morgan, pink rookie. Um so I'm very curious as to where he's gonna go, number one. Number two, what is it gonna take to get him? Uh obviously the Jets have the what, number two pick? They have the 23rd pick. You throw in another pick with them. Maybe you throw in Sam Darnold to get to give them a quarterback that they can maybe grow with. If you go to the Niners, the Niners were obviously not very good this year, so they have a high pick. Uh, but you'd have to add a lot more picks since you're not getting the number two pick back. Michael Thomas, Chris Conley, Kyle Fuller, Len Dawson, DK Metcalf Silver, Kirk Cousins, Pro Bowl, overrated. Trash. And a kid's reporter card. I always think there's another card before the kid's reporter card. And then the Patriots, uh, that would be a little bit unfair. I guess if I'm a team that needs a quarterback, I would probably trade whatever it takes to get Watson because quarterbacks, Watson's, uh, Watson's talent level, usually stay with their team their entire career. Oh, Brent, get out of here, my bro. Melvin Gordon, James Conner, Leighton Vander Esch, John Riggins, Silver Mosaic, Dalvin Cook, Touchdown Machine, and a Cam Akers rookie. You know what they say, hit a veteran or a Hall of Fame a silver when you can. Watson going Dolphins, Rodgers going 49ers. I don't think Rodgers is going to get traded. He would have to request a trade. I don't think that's going to happen. Nick Chubb, Tiki Barber, Troy Palomalo. Rodgers to Indy per Pat McAfee. Joking, I'd like them to trade Watson to Miami and get Tua and the third pick back. Yeah, that'd be nice. I brought that up a couple weeks ago on this on this, uh, on this this break, Thursday break. And I don't know. I just don't think that's enough. I think you'd still have to put in another first, maybe a third, something like that. Houston, not necessarily notorious. Uh, uh, Bill O'Brien is notorious, and he's gone now. So I expect Houston to actually get proper value for Deshaun Watson. Jason Taylor, Tyler Lockett, Lamar Jackson, Dick Butkus, 
We've got game Darius Leonard and an NFL debut Jalen Hurts. Um, and if I'm if I'm Deshaun Watson, who am who do I want to go to? I don't want to go to the I don't want to go to the Jets, right? That would be terrible because you're in no better situation than you were with uh, than you were with the. Uh, why can't I think of their Texans? Texans, thank you. Stephen Gilmore, Dwayne Haskins, Leonard Fournette. Yes, it is. Kyler Murray Ooh, Green. That's, that's nice. Good. Peyton Manning and a JT, yeah. Jonathan Taylor rookie. Let's go. If we hit a cracked ice out of uh, contenders, I'll buy it from whoever has the Colts. Maybe, depending on how much it is. <laughs> I'm a Bucks Pats fan. So were you a Pats fan, and then Tom Brady left, and then you became a Bucks fan? Sounds about right. Is that what it is? And speaking of Deshaun Watson trade to Miami, Christian Kirk, oh, Joey Bosa, and oh, a Tua Tego, Tego Viola. That's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. Pink. Nice hit. Um, and for kicks and giggles, let's go move on from the Deshaun Watson, Deshaun Watson to what happens if Rodgers is out there and obviously Matthew Stafford will be out there. So there's three really good quarterbacks that can be had. Oh, Rodgers ain't out there. Um, we're, we're, we're pretending here. We're pretending. I don't want to pretend that though. <laughs> Chris Conley, Melvin Gordon, Charles Tillman. Patrick Mahomes green MVPs. That's a nice card. Steve Young and Antonio Gibson. So if we're assuming that those three guys are out there, and we're also assuming that uh, the 49ers and the Colts are the two teams that would be in contention and would need a good quarterback right away, so that would be Deshaun Watson and Matthew Stafford and Aaron Rodgers. But assuming that you can get Rodgers and Stafford for cheaper than you'd be able to get Watson. I would expect those guys to go that route. And then a team like the Dolphins or the uh, Jets to go the route of Watson. James Conner, Jason Taylor, Patrick Mahomes, DeAndre Hopkins, Joey Bosa Silver, and a TJ Watt Pro Bowl. Silvers are just so nice looking. I'm just hoping one ends up in Indy. I bet it's going to be Matthew Stafford in Indy if I was a betting man. And a lot of people that don't watch the Lions because they're a terrible team, I can confirm as somebody who's seen a lot of the Lions, Matthew Stafford is very good and will be very good for whatever team gets him. Jared Cook and a C.D. Lamb pink NFL debut. So... You know, I feel like in a lot of people's minds, they're going to be saying to themselves, oh, I could get, you know, Aaron Rodgers, potentially, or Matthew Stafford or Deshaun Watson. I'm going Rodgers and Deshaun Watson because they're probably, you know, they don't, they probably don't watch a ton of Lions games. Um, Matthew Stafford's a stud. I hope he finally gets his due somewhere and gets on a good team that actually can win. And uh, go from there. I do feel really bad for Detroit Lions fans, though. Uh, I didn't say Stafford is... Oh. Thomas D., are you saying Stafford is elite? Because I don't know if I said said Stafford is elite, but I do think he is very, very good. Maybe I did say Stafford is elite. Could be wrong. I, I might have accidentally said that. I wouldn't say that so far, but I would say he is extremely, extremely good. Joe Namath, LaDainian Tomlinson, Kareem Hunt, Julio Jones, a green Kyler Murray got game, and a Patrick Mahomes MVP. Ed, yeah, he has been wasted in Detroit. Uh, and I feel bad for Detroit fans because, you know, he's the one guy. Barry Sanders, stud. Leaves. Retires. Calvin Johnson, stud. Retires. 
Matthew Stafford kept coming back. Despite the bad teams, despite everything, Matthew Stafford was the one man in Detroit Lions history that came back. And yet, speaking of Matthew Stafford, there he is. And yet, now he has to go away because they're a terrible team. Russell Wilson Green, Flea Flicker, and a Jordan Love rookie. Um, Is top 10 elite, though, Oliver? That's the question. I don't disagree that he's probably a top 10, top 12 QB, but I'm I'm just saying, like, what what is elite? Because at that point, that's one-third of the league. Is one-third of the league elite then? You know, if I'm thinking elite, I'm thinking Patrick Mahomes. I'm thinking, uh, obviously, Deshaun Watson, who's on the back here. Sorry to dis- disappoint. No rookie, but Daniel Hunter and Stephon Diggs. I'm thinking Russell Wilson, but like that next tier of guys, the uh, Kyler Murrays of the world, I wouldn't consider them elite, um, but I would consider Matthew Stafford in that tier, or better than a Kyler Murray, obviously. He's definitely a top QB, and there's a lot of QBs that I would take. There's not too many QBs I would take ahead of Matthew Stafford on a uh, if they, he had a good team around him. Oh, here we go. Genesis? We got a little Genesis action here, boys and girls. Drew Brees, a Jalen Hurts rookie. Sorry, that would have been on the back, but we had the uh, we had the Genesis. Tyler Lockett, Stephen Gilmore, Terrell Davis, and... Oh, it's a rookie. James Morgan rookie Genesis. Hey, you know what? You get a, you get a nice rookie... Genesis, and you can't complain, even if it is James Morgan, who will probably never sniff the field in the history of the world. But, still, so no. rookie Genesis, James Morgan. If you have the Jets, you're happy right now because there wasn't a likelihood you were going to get a good card. Not at all. So, hey. Congrats to the Jets. <laughs> Megatron did an interview saying he retired early because the Lions were such a horrible organization. And that's the terrible thing. Uh, my fiance's mom is a Lions fan. Loves the Lions. Watches the Lions every single weekend. They're terrible. You know? And yet, she still watches every single week. And so then you got a guy like uh, Matthew Stafford, who they love, who she loves. Dwayne Haskins, Josh Allen, Devontae Adams, Aaron Donald got game, and a Clyde Edwards Hilaire NFL debut. And then to watch him go when they're such a terrible run organization they only have one thing to root for, that is tough. Who are, what are they even going to do to replace them? Draft one this year right away or what? Who, the Lions? Yeah. Well, it depends on... They haven't picked a QB in front uh, of the what's their, what's their pick? They're like seventh? Um, so they could probably get like a Justin Fields if he drops. Tyron Matthew, Yannick... And a KJ Hamler. He said they treated the players so poorly, some of the conditions worse than high school football. Now, they did just... um, The woman that is in charge now, who is part of the Ford family, she is new to being in charge. And there should be probably some changes in that organization. Uh, One would expect with a change in uh, leadership. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Hopefully that doesn't stay around because nobody wants that, especially for a guy as good as Megatron to come out and say that. That's tough. That's, you'll never get free agents that way. Stafford is definitely one of the toughest guys in the league. Him and like Jared Goff, sneaky tough. Aaron Donald, George Kittle, Deshaun Watson, Kevin Baird, Emmett Smith, and a Patrick Mahomes MVP. Uh, you watch video of Matthew Stafford just getting decked constantly and just being, letting out a big ugh and then getting up and coming back. Adrian Peterson, Silver Mosaic in here. It's be something good. Warren Sapp, Charles Tillman, Patrick Mahomes. Got a lot of Patrick Mahomes today. Old school Julius Pepper and a Jordan Love. So we've been getting a number of Jordan Loves today. So Two that's Jordan nice. Loves. Um, 
Zach Wilson potentially to the Lions. Is he the guy from BYU? Somebody confirm that or not. Uh, Stafford may be one of the toughest guys in the league. Do you think Fields might surprise everyone and go number two? Tough to say. It, it all depends on what, you know, it depends on if the Jets are either going to trade or if they, you know, want to grab a wide receiver and just stick with Sam Darnold. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. Joe Mixon, Carson Wentz, and Steve Young. Carson Wentz and Jalen Hurts situation is going to be interesting now that they have a new offensive coordinator and a new coach. Be interesting to see what happens there, too. Um, okay, so yeah. Uh, Zach Wilson is BYU. Uh, Megatron said they had to drink out of hoses. Some of their meals would be, meals would be jail food. You know, I did a report on uh, grade, uh, meat grades back in the day in like high school. And I don't know if this is still true. But at the time, I read that Taco Bell meat was grade D meat. And it was illegal for prisons to serve anything under grade C meat. Now, was that true? Maybe not. Maybe I was just reading a uh, false, uh, you know, false report. But if it is true, then even Taco Bell is worse than jail food. But I take Taco Bell every day. <laughs> Jared Cook, Yannick, Aaron Jones, Zach Moss Green, rookie. That's nice. Josh Allen will win. And a Chase Claypool. Yeah, we know uh, Carson was benched last year, but will he get benched again this year with a new coach and a new offensive coordinator? That is the question that needs answering. I'm not too concerned about the past. I'm concerned about the future here for Carson Wentz. Uh, I also didn't think about the Patriots. I guess I should have thought about the Patriots when naming all those teams that needed a a a quarterback but i also don't think the patriots are very good obviously tom brady leaves um and they became bad and tom brady's going back to the super bowl so i don't know if the patriots were good or if it was just tom brady robert woods brian burns jeff saturday a uh, kyler murray silver we've had a lot of kylers oh, nice. and a lamar jackson mvp um Yeah, that's true about Taco Bell. I know they raised it to grade C recently. That's what I heard. Oh, so I wasn't wrong. Um, number one, that's disgusting. Number two, it never stopped me from eating Taco Bell in my life. And you knew that the whole time. Um, you know what's funny? And I knew it the whole time. You know what's funny is that I'm kind of like allergic to beef. Um, and I, 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 I do not feel well after eating beef. Like I could eat a steak and then feel sick two hours later. But I can eat Taco Bell just fine. No problems whatsoever. So if that doesn't condemn Taco Bell, I don't know what does. It's so gross. Amari Cooper, Sam Darnold, and Kashawn Vaughn. It is so gross. It's the second Kashawn Vaughn. It pink. is our second Kashawn Vaughn pink. I don't want to hear that ever again. Yeah, I had a mess of Taco Bell earlier during my retail hunt. Ooh. That makes for a long day, eating a lot of Taco Bell. Ooh. Eek. Uh, did you get a Baja Blast? That's the question. If there was ever a reason to go to Taco Bell outside of delicious burritos, uh, it is because Baja Blast is like the greatest soda on the history of the world. Um, Shannon Sparks asks, do you think Drew Brees is going to retire? And honestly, if he would have done well in his last game, I would have said yes. I don't know. If the competitor inside of him can leave his last game with three interceptions and retire. Is it Jordy Nelson. Is it confirmed at all? Marcus Mariota Green, Aaron Rodgers got game, and a Joshua Kelly rookie. It is not confirmed. Really? What was all that mumbo jumbo that was reporting like b during the game? They, yeah, there was it was rumored and there was high probability, but it hasn't been confirmed. Ooh, guys, we have a dolphin on the back of this pack. Lawrence Taylor, Keenan Allen, is. Julius Peppers, Dwight Freeney, old school Jerry Rice, and oh, thought it was going to be Tua, but it's Dan Marino. I didn't actually think it was going to be Tua. I knew it was Dan Marino the entire time. Look at Nate messing with everyone. What a bum. What a bum. Uh, I didn't find any. I missed out on a target delivery. I'm told it was mainly Hoops Blasters and Playbook Megas Hangers. What, there's Playbook Retail? Yeah, you didn't know about that? Garbage. Um, yeah, I wouldn't buy it. Garbage. Uh, 
Playbook's only good because you get the hobby box and you get a book out of it, and it's pretty cool Wait, sometimes. But is, but is it even good? Is no, the question? book's usually not very good, but it's cool. Okay. And from not like an investment standpoint, but from a card standpoint, it's pretty cool. Steve Young Pink. Yeah, but, but you, you already me, know there's going to be people trying to clear out targets for Playbook Megas. Megas and Hangers, definitely not worth the money. Um, Cam is washed up. I am a Panthers fan. Was happy we got rid of him. I feel like Cam's one of those guys that if you changed him to, like, linebacker, he'd probably be a stud. <laughs> Tight end? Something like that, yeah. Uh, just too big, too athletic. Taking he is a beast. He's taking too many hits. Jerry Rice. Tom Brady. Devontae Adams. A silver mosaic Jalen Rager. So we had a silver earlier. Now we have a silver mosaic. Khalil Mack and a Barry Sanders Hall of Fame. Um... I did get Baja Blast, of course. Thank you. Uh, that's the only way to do it. You go to Taco Bell and you don't get a Baja Blast. Uh, I don't like it. I don't know what's wrong with I don't you. Don't like, like it. Baja Blast? I don't like Mountain Dew. I just don't like Mountain Dew. What a bum. Curtis Martin, Jared Goff, Khalil Mack, Gardner Minshew the second. Rest in peace, everyone who invested in Gardner Minshew. Flea Flicker and oh, Joe Burrow, a, a Joe Burrow rookie. Let me see that. KK. Um, I got Lucky Tuesday, TRV, Sports, Prism, Cellos, and Hoops, Cellos, Hangers. That's really nice. I like what Matt B just said. Hands down, best looking football cards. I don't know what he's talking about, but if he's talking about Mosaic, I agree. I love Mosaic. And if he's talking about Playbook? I don't agree. <laughs> uh, Mary is a guy that could go to a team that needs a QB. Yeah, Mariota, Jameis, all those guys that signed deals to learn from a vet. QB, well, Mariota <laughs> learning from Derek Carr and not so much. But Troy Aikman, Devin McCourty, and Calais Campbell. Um, uh, but, you know, there's, there's, definitely, there's definitely, you know, rebound candidates out there that you, somebody could get. Jameis Winston. What? The last comment about Taco Bell. The toilet is scared of Taco Bell. Not me. Not my toilet. Maybe I'm just uh, a seasoned vet of Taco Bell and don't have any issues because what? Taco Bell is... I grew up on it. Me, and My brother used to pick me up from school when I was like in 8th grade and we'd stop at Taco Bell and we'd get an afternoon stack, snack consisting of Taco Bell and Baja Blasts. And then a snack, a snack. Who gets a snack? And then we'd sit in the driveway uh, and eat it, just in case my mom was already home from work, so that she wouldn't be able to see <laughs> uh, and berate us for eating something like that, like two hours before supper. Ladanian Tomlinson, Ben Roethlisberger, Khalil Mack, a green Cole Beasley, Larry Fitz, and a Lavisca Chenault Jr. Cam to the uh, Washington could use a quarterback too. I forgot that they, uh, you know, released Dwayne Haskins and he he just signed with the uh, Steelers. Steelers. Zach Thomas, Daniel Jones, Gardner Minshew. Oh my gosh! Didn't turn his phone off before break. <laughs> That's the second time I've gotten a call from Idaho today. My bad, guys. Let me mute that real quick classic bum if anybody heard that that was charlie kelly pl singing i love patty's pub from uh uh it's always sunny in philadelphia jordan hicks green dak pratt scott and a tom brady mvp all right our last pack for cello packs Jameis Winston will be good on my Saints. Watch. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. I really like I really like Jameis Winston. And I hope he gets another shot. Uh Jameis Winston was as good as Tom Brady was last Sunday against the the uh Packers. Tom Brady was terrible. Emmett Smith, Randall Cunningham, and an Aaron Rodgers pink MVP. So nice. that's nice. Love it. Um cheers, Nate, Aaron, everyone. Alessandra21, who Aaron always knows your first name. I usually forget it. Justin A. Justin. Yes, that's right. Justin. Justin Howdy. Oh, nice. 
Um, okay, so recapping the cello packs. Jordan Love, CeeDee Lamb Pink, Patrick Mahomes MVPs, Green, Kyler Murray Green, Jonathan Taylor, Jalen Hurts NFL debut, Cam Akers rookie, Chase Young rookie, Jerry Judy rookie, Jalen Rager silver, a Justin Jefferson rookie debut, a Tua Pink, and a Joe Burrow rookie. Didn't we also get a... Uh, a uh, Jalen Rager mosaic. Oh, I have a couple. Chase Claypool and a Jalen Rager mosaic. I have a couple hiding down here. Oh, wait, we got a couple more. Kyler Murray silver, another Jordan Love, a KJ Hamler pink, a Clyde Edwards Hilaire NFL debut, Jalen Hurts rookie, and the big time James Morgan future star, obviously Genesis invest, for the Jets. Invest. <laughs> I spent five hundred thousand dollars on James Morgan Genesis mosaics, and I want you to too. <laughs> Cannot believe they just did that. We're back. <laughs> Aaron's dying over here. <sighs> okay, okay. Moving on. Moving on. Uh, get, catching up on these comments here. I was a Pepsi salesman for a while. We would get asked what in Baja Blast was coming back in the stores constantly. I believe that. You remember that one summer? Tom, I'm sure you do. You remember that one summer when uh, Baja Blast came out for the first time outside of Taco Bell and it was a whole thing and there was a Baja Blast like website and everything? That was amazing. Dude, I love Decaying. Decaying's hilarious. <laughs> uh, the Taco Bell from Uber Eats is calling you to come outside to get it. <laughs> your, your phone call. <laughs> From Idaho. <laughs> I hear Idaho Taco Bells are the best. That's just what I hear. Uh, is there a single decent poll in it for the Bears? Um, David Montgomery Genesis. Uh, we've hit, in our, in our breaks, we have hit two David Montgomery Genesis uh, for the Bears. We've hit a ton of Genesis. We've, no, I know, but like two, ten, David, I, I know, two David David Montgomery. In general, there's like ten of them. Yeah. Uh, would the trash sets be good to buy if I'm looking for panini points? I've collected about 2,200 so far, only 1,800 more till on the horizon. I just go and buy them on eBay. I would buy them on eBay too. Uh, you know, buying the sets, you're likely to get like 150 points instead of something big like 900, right? So, panini points when nothing is available on the panini site is a good investment. Yeah, that's the one thing Herbert season is that a lot of times there's nothing good to spend those points on. Um, unless you can get like the optic white sparkle packs, the prism white sparkle packs. <laughs> Decaying, I am buying James Morgan's. Thanks for the tips. Ah. Nate's got the best tips. Yep, the, the best tips in the hobby. And please, nobody go back and actually think I'm being serious. I feel like I laughed enough for people to know I wasn't serious. Well, but I'm, cr in, I'm crying. So. But, but in case somebody thought I was actually serious about the James Morgan, please don't. Uh, Mega box. Nice two Brady cards. I like your video. Thank you, John. All right, we are on to the Mosaic Mega Box, and then we will be doing the big boys, the contenders, first off the line. What do we got going on here? What a weird. What? I've never opened one of those before. What a w weird, weird thing is going on here. What in the world? That is the oddest way a box has ever been packaged. Has it been... I, I got these from a really good friend of mine, so I highly doubt that they're resealed or anything. We'll Let's see. We'll see what's inside. But like, you might want to rip it down the back to like open the entire box or something, if you can. Well, they are mosaic cards, and just like pull them out of the top. Yeah. Seems like are they supposed to start on the top? I have no idea. Jalen Ramsey. We'll see what's in here. Van Jefferson, Rod Woodson, Russell Wilson, Silver Mosaic, a Brett Favre. Blue Reactive. Blue Reactive. C.D. Lamb, NFL debut rookie. Odell Beckham Jr., Todd Gurley, A.J. Terrell, Blue Reactive, K.J. Hamler, rookie. What is going on here? Dalvin Cook. I don't feel like this is the process that's supposed to go, <laughs> how this is supposed to go. D.K. Metcalf, Kids Report a Card in the Middle, Old School Barry Sanders, Matt Judon, Aaron Rodgers MVP, Miles Sanders Blue Reactive, Chandler Jones, Cam Chancellor, Auto. a David Carr. Oh my God! A day, a go. David Carr Auto. Let's invest in him too. Come on, <laughs> what is going on here? The most absurd thing I've ever seen. 
not a Derek Carr, his better half, his better brother, David Carr. Wild. Yeah. I did I did not think I'd be saying a David Carr. And also look at that auto. Atrocious. Just like uh, kind of like Derek Carr's trash. Nate, would you bet a uh, hundred of thousands of dollars on Derek Carr and TRPAs? That was a, a subtweet. A <laughs> second kids reporter card. And a Julio Jones will to win. What a weird order that was. Blue reactives randomly. Yeah, that was really interesting. Rookies randomly. Mosaics randomly. Um, that was like the weirdest feeling box to open. Like what the- you're telling me? You're telling me I should invest a ton of money in Derek Carr, and when it doesn't work out, I should proclaim that the hobby is going to die in 24 to 48 months. Is that what you're telling me? Don't forget, Pokemon cards are the dumbest. Thing oh, ever, and Pokemon so. cards are dumb. I forgot. <laughs> Um. <laughs> Wait, you weren't serious? I just bought two cards that cost me a hundred dollars. You're very quick on the uh, on the trigger finger there. Um, same with hangers. This is how Walmart megas and hangers were. Those are how Walmart packages their hangers in those black boxes. Target was in clear cell foam. It's such a weird orga. Vegas Dave would tell you to buy as many of those David Car autos as you can. They found David to get an auto. All right, so we are on to the ridiculous uh, box number two. Joshua Kelly rookie, Peyton Manning, Jeff Saturday, another Kidders reporter card, Cam Akers blue reactive NFL debut, Lamar Jackson, another Kids reporter card, Cooper Cup, Marcus Mariota, speak of the devil, we talked about him earlier, Lynn Bowden Jr., Aaron Jones, Cole Komet rookie NFL debut, Adam Vinatieri blue reactive, KJ Hamler silver, Oh, that's nice. Teddy Bridgewater, Flea Flicker of Jacksonville, a third kids reported card in case you didn't have enough the first two times. Brian Burns, Dan Marino, Saquon Barkley Green, Debo Samuel Blue Reactive, Jamal Adams, and a Jeff Akuto Blue Reactive rookie. It's the weirdest box I've ever seen in my life. Uh, isn't that what Vegas Dave said? Uh, no comment. No comment. All right, so there's the mosaic. We're done with that. And we will move on to the big boys Let's today. Go. The contenders. First off the line, first off the line, stickers are on the top edition. And we've got five autos, including one on card autograph in here. Obviously, we're going for the big. Big time QBs, and if not that, you know, try to get some Clyde Edwards Hilaire, some Zach Moss, and if not that, we'll try to get some CD Lamb and some uh, uh, Jerry Judy, uh, Justin Jefferson, guys like that. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, and which box should I start with? I'm going to start with this one. Um, When the hobby goes downhill, everyone will be able to. We'll be able to retail. That's true. We'll finally get our retail boxes back if the hobby goes downhill. So uh, not everything will be negative about it. I'll finally be able to buy cards again. I wouldn't bang on that. <laughs> You're going to have to random the kids' reported cards. Well, I think we've had enough where we could give one to each every team. <laughs> All right. Uh, which, which box are you feeling better about? I'm feeling better about the other one, so I went with this one first. And the reason is because the uh, sticker was cockeyed on the other one. Oh, that's a lot of packs. More than I thought. It is a lot of packs. See, if you're wondering what I was looking at, you have this sticker, perfectly straight. You have this sticker, a little bit cockeyed. So we're going with the little bit cockeyed one for second as the better box. We'll see if I'm right. I kind of hope Vegas Dave is right so I can actually go buy Prism at a fair price. Yeah. One one drawback, if there's been any, to this explosion is that if you liked ripping boxes, you're not ripping boxes anymore unless bye you're bye. buying into breaks, which is what we're doing right now. So you can still get in to things at a reasonable price, just, you know, you're not getting the whole box. Oh, the kids' reported cards expired earlier this month. Yeah, those are trash now. 
Oh, is a it was a Super Bowl. Is yeah, a Super Bowl a thing? Super yeah. All right. So, uh, Walmart Megas had the blue reactive parallels. Target Megas did not. That's interesting. So at least we know where these boxes came from. Yeah, came from Walmart. Uh, there's been some mosaic blasters out in the wild lately at some targets. Did you buy them? Did you get any? Better. That's the question. You gotta gotta get some. All five right. Au five autos per box. Five autos per box. Contenders. Let's see what we get. Baker Mayfield, Russell Wilson, Aaron Jones, Nick Bosa. Where are the names on here? Oh, right there. Oh, a quick start. A Tyree Cleveland rookie ticket auto. Yeah, you're definitely getting bad autos in these boxes. And a Justin Super. Herbert rookie of the year contenders insert, I hey, guess. Yeah, that's another say. $5 for Kessim. I did say any Justin Herbert card. Any it's a, Justin Herbert. It's a cool card. You going to update that, bad boy? Well, if you let me slide in quick. They can watch and see how Do it's we done. Do we get $5 for the... Uh, Jason Dominguez? Yeah. It's going on there right now. Oops. There you go. All right, we're up to $640. And if anybody puts a super chat in the thing, that also goes to Camp Kesem. And if you're asking yourself, what in the wide world is Camp Kesem? It is a uh, camp that sends kids whose families, parents specifically, have cancer. It gets them out of the house and somewhere where they can kind of forget about the troubles in life. Do Andrew Hopkins, was that a fair assessment of it? Yes. Philip well Rivers, Ben Roethlisberger... Miles Garrett, Sterling Shepard, and a Jeff Glade and a Justin Jefferson dual contenders insert. Look at Tom. All I want to do is open boxes. <laughs> yeah, you and me both, which is why I'm happy to be doing this right now. Um, all, uh, I find retail pretty frequently, but I still participate in these breaks because they're fun and well-priced. Well, thank you. I appreciate you uh, joining in. And I, I and and even if your guys aren't buying, I really do appreciate you guys joining and talking cards we, with us because we got that's really fun. In here for football. Hey, all right, DJ Moore, Fitz Magic, Josh Allen, not the right Josh Allen, but Josh Allen. Red Zone. Terry McLaren. Oh, Red Zone parallel. Red Zone parallel of Nick Bosa. So um, it was can it, just be any Red Zones. Is there an automatic a Red Zone guaranteed, auto? Guaranteed auto and one nine auto. I think. Oh, nice. And a Jordan Love rookie of the year. It's a pretty sweet looking card, this red zone, actually. Yes, it is. Put in there. So there's our first red zone. Pretty sweet looking. I love the foil it's got going on. It's got a like a Tops Opening Day red foil look to it, but obviously significantly better than Tops Opening Day. <laughs> Not opening day. <laughs> Those autos were looking pretty good this year for the red zone. Yeah. Herbert was like over 5K when I liked. All right. Tyron Matthew, Brandon Cooks, Tyler Lockett, Matthew Stafford. Just had a big conversation about him. Jimmy Garoppolo and, love it, Barry Sanders legendary ticket. Nate's always big on the Barry Sanders. I guys. love Barry Sanders. A little known fact about Barry Sanders is that him, me, and Gail Sayers, three most famous people from Wichita, Kansas, also three great NFL running backs, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, who do you think is getting Rookie of the Year? Are we talking NFL? Um, or NBA? NBA would be too soon, obviously. So NFL... I think it's – wait, did they announce that? They didn't announce that yet, right? Um, I think it's probably – Herbert or Jefferson. It, well, obviously one of those two. But I think they're probably going to give it to Herbert. I think Jefferson deserves it because how often do you see a rookie getting 1,400 yards? That's insane. Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, Khalil Mack, Michael Thomas, Marquise Brown, and Javon Kinlaw and Brandon Ayuk. Slap King War 316 says Slab Stocks breaks are the best of the best. That means a lot to us. Obviously, we are. We just started. Um, you know, we know cards, but we've never broken before. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying our breaks. Hopefully, we can keep making them better and better and better. 
and uh, be an enjoyable experience, uh, no matter if you're in it or out of it or get big hits or not. Darius Leonard, James Conner, I think we have our, uh, nope, Amari Cooper. Yep, auto. Oh, yep. Oh, big boy. I feel like I, you just everyone saw the Michael, Michael Thomas, Aaron Donald, and Rashad Lawrence, rookie ticket auto. You're not going to escape it in this box. So, yeah, um, I I think Justin Herbert will get it. I think uh, Justin Jefferson deserves it. Dude, the names are really hard to find. That took me a second. They are really hard to find. They sneak it right in there. Derek Carr, Christian McCaffrey, Derek Henry, Jamal Adams, Stefan Diggs, and a Rookie of the Year contenders, Henry Ruggs III. About time we hit that Henry Ruggs. <laughs> we haven't hit a Henry Ruggs in a while since that, like, Genesis we hit that one time. We hit like 20 rugs in that same break. Thank you, Justin. Thank you for the kind words. Uh, hopefully it's educational, if nothing, or ridiculous. Every once in a while, I'll probably take a shot at somebody. Adam <laughs> Thielen, Travis Kelsey, Aaron will lose his mind to the left of me, right of me, Deshaun Watson, Gardner Minshew the second, Adrian Peterson, and Dick Buckus. Legendary Nate, Nate comes in and does the dirty work when I want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Slab Stocks Breaks community is putting it on for us right now. Thanks, guys. I do really appreciate it. Because sometimes, you know, you do something like this or doing the podcast or anything like that, and you're like, man, did I do a good job today? And you, sometimes you step away and you're like, I just don't feel like I have my A game. So I appreciate you guys stepping up and saying, hey, you're doing pretty good, because that means a lot. Joe Mixon, Roquan Smith, you're trying to see that auto, aren't you? And... A Jacob Eason red zone uh, contenders. That's our that's our box hit, huh? I'm not surprised it's Jacob Eason. I'll tell you that much. We hit so much Jacob Eason. Whoever has the Colts, I would advise selling this right away. But that is, look at that. Look at that bad boy. That is on card. And it's the red zone. And it's the red zone. You never know. Big. People are people are always buying them back of quarterbacks right now. I would, I would, if you are the Colts and you are watching this, I would sell that bad boy. Hey, but considering all the autos you can get, the oh. fact that we did get the red zone was a quarterback. Not bad. That's big. Did you see two of one of one Herbert autos got pulled from contenders already? Uh, I did not see that, but I'm not shocked. Aaron Rodgers. Alvin Kamara, oh, Todd baby. Gurley, Jalen Ramsey, and Aaron Donald. What, you got a price on that, Bill? Yeah, well, we should get more excited for quarterback contenders, though, because a base sold for 255 A base contender of Jacob Eason sold for 255 Yeah. Okay. Whoever has the Colts, sell this bad boy before that they trade for a quarterback like Matthew Stafford. I know Phillip Rivers just retired, but I don't think they're going to be going into the season with Jacob Eason as the quarterback. Maybe they do. There's only one list at four hundred dollar buy an hour right now for it. For red zone? Yeah. Nice. Um you know uh TRV Sports with the uh Herbert autos. I when working at Brewtown, I was there when one of the two uh Zion Williamson one on one contenders autos got hit. At Brewtown. Slide. Oh yeah, slide. Jason Witten, Mark Ingram. Jared Goff, Trash. Leighton Vander Esch, oh. and an Aaron Rodgers winning ticket. I wish. Love it. Um, so it's always cool to see a nice uh, Contenders 101. That's for sure. M maybe we can get a clear. Maybe Yes, there's other numbered autos to get out of here. Now it's not numbered, but... Oh, wow. Herbert Season says he thinks Herbert should win, and he's not biased. <laughs> I didn't think so. Just like I think Christian Yelich should win the MVP every year, and I'm also not biased. Never. Drew Locke, Tredavious White, and an M oh, boo. MVP <laughs> contenders, Carson Wentz. Woof. Uh, it, was, it was one of those things where I worked the night before. There was two boxes of contenders left. 
I come in the next day and I find out it was hit from two boxes of contenders that were sitting behind me all night, but I never actually got to see the card in person. I just saw it online. I wish I'd gotten to see it. Sony Michelle, Larry Fitzgerald, Austin Eckler, Carson oh. Wentz. Oh, wait, wait. That could be really good. Burrow Autos or Redemptions? Bo Jackson. Is it Burrow? Football. Playoff contenders. Oh, boy. Card set. Rookie ticket. 229. Oh, that is so upsetting. <laughs> Tim Patrick. Oh, there's, there's a scratch there. Okay, good. Um, Well, uh, who's Tim Patrick play for? I, I don't even no know. Idea. I got to Google. Ah, oh, man, we were really hoping for a burrow right there. Ah, uh, what are you going to do? Every what are you going to do? Every time you see Redemption, you're going to be so... Oh, I'm going to be so excited. Oh, no. I think... Oh, Broncos... Uh, res, oh, he's 27? 27 already? Mike Evans, Philip Lindsay, David Montgomery, Drew Brees, Julio Jones, and a... Chase Young, and Jeff Okudo. So we got one more auto in this box. One more auto. We got four more packs. Good old Timmy Patrick. Josh Jacobs, Tyler Boyd, Kirk Cousins. You don't get a lot of rookies out of these, huh? Keenan Allen. Well, there's no base rookies. Ro okay, Rob Gronkowski and an MVP contenders. That's a little bit more legit MVP contenders than the Carson Wentz one was, that's for sure. I mean, I guess you could say at one point Carson Wentz was in the running. Wait, did he win? Not even. I don't know. I don't remember. Got no, hurt. Got no hurt. way. He got hurt. He was about to, I thought. If he's a 27-year-old <laughs> rookie, you know he's trash. Well, he might be good, but he just might not be an investable car. Literally in any sport. <laughs> if you're a 27-year-old rookie, you're likely trash. Ooh, Occasionally, you'll get like a good reliever in baseball. Patrick Mahomes, Marlon Mack, Melvin Gordon, Allison. <laughs> Tua. You keep showing the guy. Is this going to be Darnell Mooney? Yeah, maybe. Ah, yeah, that's a really nice that's one. That's probably one of the best sticker autos you've got. Darnell get. Mooney is going to be a problem in this league for a number of years. He is really, really good. If he had an actual quarterback throwing to him, say, I don't know, Deshaun Watson, uh, you're looking at a really nice card right there, Darnell Mooney. So Kept the auto on the sticker, too. So no, no numbered autos, huh? Nope. AJ Green, Cam Newton, Kyler Murray, Tom Brady, that's cool, DJ Chark Jr., and an MVP contenders, Kyler. Also more legitimate MVP contenders card than Carson Wentz. Very true. Mike Yastrzemski, yeah, that's true, Mike Yastrzemski was a 29-year-old rookie, or 28-year-old rookie, when he debuted, so I guess anything can happen. But for the most part, unlikely. Joey Bosa. Chris Godwin, Ryan Tannehill, Marvin Jones Jr., Richard Sherman, and Isaac Isaiah Simmons, Rookie of the Year contenders. What? Tyler Bass for the Bills. He's a kicker, and it's a $250 base auto. That's intense. All right, so for box one, we got good old Timmy P, Redemption, Tyree Cleveland, Rashad Lawrence, a Darnell Mooney, who's extremely good, and the Jacob Eason, Red Zone, first off the line, exclusive auto, on card, too. I believe that there's one guaranteed on card auto per box. That's what it says, yep. All right. So that makes me wonder if there's like sticker red zone. There's got to be, and then you'd get just a base on card, I guess, or a numbered. I have two Justin Herberts, two Kyler Murrays, and a Jordan Love cards in my collection. I'm looking for Burrow, Tua, and Hertz. Yeah, collect all the young QBs. You're bound to hit on a couple. See the Michael Thomas MVP card? Is there one? Oh yeah, look at that. 
Uh, I did not. Uh, there's literally no way a wide receiver will ever get MVP. You'd have to be the only guy your quarterback threw to the entire year. Otherwise, that quarterback's money. Or otherwise, the, yeah, the quarterback is going to win MVP. And even Adams was like the only guy that was thrown to this year. Well, Tanyan got 11 touchdowns. Dude, you, did you see the reception breakdown? 115 for Adams, 50 for Tanyan, like 40 for Jones, 33 for Scantling. Oof. Tyler Lockett, Nick Chubb, Saquon Barkley, Mark Ingram. Oh, a Joe That's Burrow a and Tua Tagovailoa. That was autoed. Well, this is autoed. Oh! Jalen Hurts, red zone. First off the line, premium. Jalen Hurts auto. That's a huge hit. A huge hit. Bang! I did not. I knew it was Jalen Hurts because I saw the Eagles jersey really quickly. I did not expect it to be the first off the line. Boom. Boom. That's a huge one. One sec. That was really, really, really unexpected. I mean, I, I knew it was going to be a Jalen Hurts auto. I saw Jalen Hurts, and I saw him flipped over. I but, missed it. But I did not. I did not expect it to be the red zone. Wow. That's really nice. It's really, really nice. Hey, who had the Eagles? I was just about to say. Eagles. We've got... Uh, oh. Hunter O. Congratulations to Hunter O. On the Jalen Hurts. Red zone auto. Talk about like a thousand dollar card right there. TJ Watt, Ezekiel Elliott, Terry McLaren, Matthew Stafford. Oh wow. Oh wow. Clean up. The Eagles. They got the ticket stub of John Hightower oh, the fourth. That's number two. Yeah, number to 82. Look at that. So you get the red zone and you get the ticket stub. Eagles are killing it right now. And then last card. MVP contenders, which is a legitimate, finally a legitimate MVP contenders, Patrick Mahomes. These are numbered out of the jersey numbers. Correct. So if you get a guy with the jersey number one, it's a free one of one. Just like the acetate RPA is Devin Booker. That's such a huge card. So Kyler Murray has an extra one of one, huh? Yeah, so. Sam Darnold, DJ Moore, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Jimmy Garoppolo, Khalil Mack, and Clyde Edwards Alaire. Rookie. Yeah, Justin, I would say what in the world, wow. The uh, Eagles are definitely just killed this box. Obviously, obviously this this not worth a ton, and also he's numbered eight out of 82, but it's still sweet, still low numbered, obviously, and uh when you can come add it with the Jalen Hurts. Dude, both the red zone autos were QBs. Yeah, that's probably not happening often. Tyron Matthew, Brandon Cooks, Michael Thomas, Marquise Brown, Aaron Donald, and a legendary contender's Joe Green. Mean Joe Green. So I'd imagine there's not another numbered auto in this box. I would imagine there's not another numbered auto in there either. You never know, though. MVP contenders are actually worth money when they win the MVP. That'd be interesting if you could hit a Aaron Rodgers on. Adam Thielen, Travis Kelsey, Jared Goff, Leighton Vander Esch, Le'Veon Bell, and an MVP contender's Aaron Donald. What would happen with the ticket stub for Kobe White because he is numbered zero? I think a one of one probably. Just, just doesn't exist. <laughs> One out of zero. I'd imagine. I'd imagine a one to one. You never know, though. I guess. Yeah, I don't. I don't know what would happen either. Kirk Cousins seen a lot of him. Patty Mahomes, Marlon Mack, DJ Chark Jr., Ryan Tannehill, and contenders DeAndre Swift. Well, you know, the one crappy thing about the Jalen Hurts red zone being Jalen Hurts red zone is that we hit it in that first pack. And so uh, I feel like the rest of the boxes just has to be a letdown from there. 
AJ Green, Cam Newton, but we're going to keep our hopes up for a massive hit anyways. Marvin Jones Jr., Richard Sherman, Raquan Smith, and a legendary Ray Lewis. Tell you what, I'd rather hit it than not hit it at all, that's for sure. That's true. Uh, we got... Oh, is that's a numbered auto, I think. We got another auto in here. LaVisca Chenault Jr. Oh. <laughs> Throws the wrong thing away. Kyler Murray. Joey Bosa. Chris Godwin. Alvin Kamara. And a championship ticket, Malcolm... Malcolm Perry. That is not what I was expecting. Numbered 49. Hey, but two numbered, two numbered, and a uh, red zone auto. One box. That's pretty good. Nice. Definitely was not expecting another numbered auto. No, I definitely wasn't. Especially either. since we didn't hit a single numbered auto in the first yeah. box. Cortland Sutton, Miles Sanders, Todd Gurley, Jalen Ramsey, Drew Locke, and a C.J. Henderson and Kevlon, K. K. Levant, K. Levant, Chasen. Joe Burrow auto in the packs. So that is what we're hoping for. We hit a Joe Burrow earlier in the mosaic, but only one Joe Burrow. So let's hope for a little bit more. Who else did K.K. have? Um, the Dolphins as well. The Wait, Dolphins? We... No, no, no. No, this is the Dolphins and the Packers, right, I thought? Or... Yeah, sorry, Packers and the Bengals. Packers and the Bengals. We hit a couple Jordan Loves. Keith Joe the Mixon, and the Julian Edelman. No Justin Herberts today, though. Aaron Rodgers, Tredavious White, Josh Allen, and Lamar Jackson winning tickets. We hit the one rookie of the year, but no mosaic Justin Herberts. He's the only guy we didn't hit, actually, of the big QBs. Yeah. Patch Auto, Justin, Her or one of the guys. Even hit a James Morgan and a Jacob Eason. Yeah. Deshaun Watson, Russell Wilson, Baker Mayfield, Josh Allen, Preston Williams, and a Denzel Mims. Hey, Team Alta. The whole team? Impressive. All right, we're getting down to it. We got six packs left on our breaks today, guys. So let's hope for some good stuff. Oh, we got the red zone here. Let's flip it to the back. Cole Komet and Chase Claypool. Oh, my bad. Out of the shot. Rookie reporter, DeAndre Hopkins, Phillip Rivers, Dwayne Haskins, Devontae Adams, and Larry Fitz. Red zone. So still got one auto left. Ben Roth, one, two, two, I think. two autos left. Ben Roethlisberger, Dak Prescott, Jason Witten, DK Metcalf, Odell Beckham, and Cam Newton winning lottery ticket. The Hertz was by far the best card of the day. Absolutely. It's one of the top four autos you could get. Teddy Bridgewater, Dalvin Cook, Daniel Jones, Lamar Jackson, A.J. Brown, and MVP contenders Drew Brees. All right, four packs left, guys. Let's see how we're doing. All right, a little James Robinson, rookie of the year contenders on the back. Tyree Kill, J.J. Watt. These are upside down. Juju Smith-Schuster, Carrion Johnson, James Robinson, rookie of the year, and Eno Benjamin, rookie ticket auto, with a nice EB there. Not much else. Ernie Banks. Ernie Banks. I have actually a sweet Sports Illustrated him at home that I just found. Just Ernie Banks' head. Nice. Yeah. All right, so one, one auto left, guys. What if they hit with a double on card? Can that happen? Maybe. 
don't know. <laughs> Just making sure it wasn't in here. I want to save it to last. Sony Michelle, Larry Fitzgerald, Carson Wentz, David Montgomery, Drew Brees, and the legendary ticket, Brett Favre. Now that, that's awesome. That's a dope card. Beautiful. Love me some Brett Favre. LaMichael Pirine. <laughs> Yep. All right, down to the last pack. Sweet. Austin Eckler, Mike Evans, Philip Lindsay, Julio Jones, Keenan Allen, and oh. LaMichael P. Ryan, James Morgan. I hear that's the one that you want to invest in. The dual. Dual. Contenders. <laughs> in every collegiate product, Eno Benjamin haunted me. There's always that one guy that you just, ham you just can't get away from. Henry Ruggs was that guy for us for a while. Josh Jacobs. Is there an auto in here? Tyler Boyd. Rob Gronkowski. Short. MVP contender Deshaun Watson. Alshon Jeffrey. And. Oh, yeah. Retch. Nope. Ezra Cleveland auto. Oh, is that an offensive line auto? It is. Ezra Cleveland. Ezra Cleveland. We'll be creating running lanes for a familiar face in Minnesota, reuniting with former teammate Alexander Madison. Madison's 2,500 yards. They played at Boise State. Ezra Cleveland for the Vikings. So there's our last auto. To recap real quick. So we got the Joe Burrow and Tua by the numbers. Oh, we need a random that. I just realized that. Oh, we will. Well, on video. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Ezra Cleveland, rookie auto. Eno Benjamin. Larry Fitz. Malcolm Perry. The John Hightower, the fifth. Oh, Malcolm Perry was a championship ticket. John Hightower, the fifth ticket stub. And the Jalen Hurts red zone contenders auto. I just realized that there's a few of these. I don't really know what to do. So that's really big. Um, and for these right yeah, here, let's random them. we will random these off, get them to their correct team, and uh, everyone will be good there. Antonio Go Gandy Golden is mine, but got his auto, and now he thinks I'm his buddy, like to hang out every box I get. <laughs> Classic. That was me and Kyle Lewis in Top Series 1. That ended up working out pretty well for me. All right, we're going to randomize these uh, dual cards here quick. First up, we will do the Burrow and the Tua. So let me get the screen share up here on random.org. Thanks, everyone, for watching, by the way, today. That hurts was really big, actually. Can you talk to me on the phone? Yeah, sure thing. All right, there we go. We're going to do the Burrow and the Tua first. And we're going, to, we're going three times like always. I'm going to list the first player that's on top first and then the second on bottom. I'll show you one more time. Burrow's on top. Two is on the bottom. All right, three times. One, two, and a third. Going to the Dolphins with Tua. Let me get some sticky notes and put that on. Or I'll do something here. I'm going to write here. Dolphins. All right, next up is the Panthers and the Broncos for the Hamler and the Gross Matos. So let's see what we get here. First time we've actually had dual cards on uh, on the Slab Stacks breaks. All right, one, two, and three. Let's go into the Panthers. All right, and then we got Chase Young and Jeff Okuda for the Washington football team and the Lions. Let's get back to the screen share. So we got the Redskins and then the Lions. Sorry, not the Redskins. Washington, 
And then the Lions. One, two, and three. Going to Washington. Okay, and then lastly, we got the Cole Komet and the Chase Claypool. That is between the Bears and the Steelers. Bears and Steelers. Three times. One, two, and three. Bears took it at the end. Going to Cole Komet, steals the Chase Claypool. All right, let me come back to the main screen really quick. Oh, that's too low because I forgot Nate's shorter than me. All right, guys, tomorrow. Tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern time, we are opening the biggest box that we have opened here other than Flawless, I'd say. Um, this is 2008 Topps Chrome Basketball featuring Kobe Bryant and LeBron James cards that are super, super big. Like literally, in my opinion, the biggest non-auto patch non-rookie cards that there are out there on the market. I know it's a weird way to phrase it, but I really do believe that. And uh, I'm very excited to get into it. So come back here at 3 p.m. Eastern time for tomorrow on Friday's NBA Showcase. Breaks for next week are already listed on slabstocks.com slash shop. Um, some of them are already sold out. Some of them have a few spots left. And then we have baseball and football for next week too. And uh, big baseball next week. Football, we're digging, in, in, digging into more contenders and mosaic. Let's see if we can hit another QB like the Hertz next week. That was huge. Um, with that being said, though, thanks, everyone, for watching and interacting today. It was a great stream. appreciate Nate coming down today to rip some packs and everything. So uh, we'll get your shipments out. They will go out tomorrow. And thank you, everyone, for watching. KK, appreciate you joining the chat all the way from Germany and supporting, too. Uh, love all of our domestic and international supporters. It's really a blast knowing that we have people worldwide. All right, everyone. I will see you tomorrow for the NBA Friday Showcase. Have a great day.